to my third PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to uh, use if statements and declare variables in PHP. So, first thing we need to do is start our XAMPP web server. So start Apache, start MySQL. Um, don't need MySQL for now, but out of habit, you probably sh it's a good idea to start MySQL. Um, after that, after we've started it, we can go to localhost, our web server, find my first project. This is what we're working on in the last tutorial, Hello World. Um, then we can start NetBeans. Wait for NetBeans to start. And as soon as NetBeans starts up, um, we have here my first project. The project's still open. If the project wasn't open, it's you can quite easily open it by going to open project or even easier my recent projects um, and the way we declare a variable in PHP is um, just put this above hello world the way we declare a variable is we use a dollar sign um, followed by the do dollar sign is the variables well I mean the dollar sign includes the variables name however um, you always need a dollar sign, so it's not really part of the name. So the dollar sign has to be followed by an underscore or a letter. It can't be immediately followed by a number. You can, however, say um, a one. That is a valid variable name, but just one isn't, or one a isn't either. It has to start. Uh, the first letter has to be either an underscore with the first first character, either an underscore or a letter. So. Um, if we wanted to, to um, declare a variable called num to hold a number, uh, simply type dollar sign num and end it with a semicolon. Uh, the semicolon indicates the end of um, this line of code. It's the delimiter. You need that after every line of code. Well, not technically every line, um, every statement. Um, so if we have num here, that is a variable that holds no value currently. So the way we assign num a value is we put an equal sign um, and then if we want to give it a number we can literally type 1. Now num holds the ho now holds the value of 1. Num equals 1. Um, um, so that is how you declare a an integer variable. Um, an integer is just a whole number in case you didn't know. So, yep, that is now num holds a value of one, um, and we can print one, uh, the value of num to the screen by typing print open brackets num, uh, because here I'm referencing the variable name. Um, if I just take out hello world for now, it should now print one to the screen if we load up our project. There you go, 1. 1 is an output to the screen because we've assigned the value of 1 uh, to the variable num. If we change to 2, it would now say print, it would now print 2. See, um, so here we have a value that is, a variable that is assigned a value and we then output the value. Um, if statements in PHP. Um, Okay, so an if statement follows this syntax. If open brackets um, open um, in here, we put the condition. So, um, say if we uh, we wanted to execute a piece of code, if num equaled one, we would type this. If num equals equals, if you just put an equals here, it will um, it, it thinks you're trying to assign num. The, uh, you're trying to assign the variable num to the value of one. Um, you you do not do this in an if statement because we're trying to check if it equals one, not trying to assign it one in an if statement, which is a very bizarre thing to do. So we use equals equals to compare. So if num equals equals one, we then open a curly bracket, and NetBeans is a pretty good auto completion, so it automatically created this bracket here. Um, which is a closing bracket, closing curly bracket. Anything within this, these two brackets here, will be executed if num equals uh, equals one. So if I put in here print brackets 
num um, the number is one um, and as long as that is one it should now output the number is one and there you have it the number is one um, if we change it to two nothing should be executed I mean that nothing should be output there will be no output on the screen because none no longer equals one um, we can put an else statement which means if um, so it will say if we put an else here we type else after the curly bracket of the if else then we open up another curly brackets and it auto completed this curly bracket this means that if the number doesn't equal one effectively because if the number equals one this code will be executed else so else if the number doesn't equal one anything here will be output so now we can type print the number is not one so we now should see the number is not one if we refresh the page number is not one um, uh, if it changes back to one I should see the number is one is one um, so that is a very simple if statement in PHP. Um, yep. Um, I'll show you how we can use um, use a variable in the output. So we can say if the number equals one, then it will print the number is one. Else, the number is not one. Uh, if we want to say what number it was, um, we can type this: the number is not one. Uh, the number is, and then the colon it doesn't really matter. This is just text, space, and I can either put num here. I can literally type dollar sign num. So the number is, and it should output what the number is. Uh, so if it changes to two, it would go. It wouldn't get to this piece of code because it doesn't equal one. So it should say the number is not one. The number is, and then use the value of num two. Um, another way we can do this is if we concate the screen, uh, the screen with the variable, uh, which means that it joins it onto the string. So if I type a dot, that's the concation um, operator. So if I now type num, num is outside of the string, but we're concating it with this dot. Uh, Americans call this a period. Uh, so the number is num. It should still output the number is two. It shouldn't change when I refresh. The number is two. It still stays the same. It's just two ways of doing it. Um, so yeah, that is how you declare a variable, a rather simple variable in PHP, and a very simple if statement. Now this if statement is pretty pointless because um, I could achieve the exact same thing by typing the number is num uh, here. See, the number is num would just mean that um, it's, it's always going to print 1 because otherwise it wouldn't have got past this if statement, it wouldn't have got to this piece of code so it's always going to be 1 it's rather pointless so it doesn't change oh, oh. I haven't changed to 1 yet this one. Um, yeah, the number is 1, it still says the same uh, this is a rather pointless uh, if statement but it just demonstrates how um, the syntax of the PHP if statement. Um, yep, so that's um, the all, all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll show you um, maybe some loops, uh, some uh, different types of um, variable, variable um, types you can use, such as strings.